Hey guys, what's up? This is Dan Wants Tech here with a super simple tutorial on how to install CyanogenMod on the majority of the most popular Android devices right now. If you don't know what CyanogenMod is, basically it's one of the most popular custom Android ROMs or operating systems to install on your phone and it's probably one of the best too because it adds loads of custom tweaks and features to Android without changing the stock look of KitKat. So it's really just a better community version of Android and it's perfect for anyone who wants to do more with their phone, so check it out below. Now in this video I'm going to be using the new CyanogenMod installer, a brand new, much simpler method than before, so no routing, unlocking, installing recoveries or flashing ROMs because the installer does it all from scratch automatically. Now obviously this tutorial is just for the average user who just wants to run Cyanogen like me uh, without all the hassle of a manual install which can take hours, but of course if you're a power user you might want to take that route, so I'll stick a tutorial link for you guys in the description. Description. Now in this video I'm going to use a Nexus 5 and a MacBook Air to install, but of course you can use a Windows computer too. The process is the same, you just download the right version below in the description and there's a link down there too to find out if your device is supported by the installer and they're adding new compatibility all the time so keep checking back. But if your device is not supported you'll have to go the manual route unfortunately. And last thing before we start, as with anything like this, back up everything. This process will completely wipe your device and reset it, so make sure you back up to Google or download your important files and photos uh, to your computer before we start. So my Nexus 5 is backed up, it's running stock KitKat, it's not unlocked, it's not rooted or anything, so that's perfect. Let's go. So first off, we're gonna download the Windows or Mac app from the link in the description, install and open that up, and it'll start looking for your device. At this stage, open up the browser on your phone and head to get.cm. This will bring up the Samogen Mod installer page and we're gonna download the app and then install it from the notification pull down. You should be able to get added from your download section too. Once the app is installed, open it and you'll see a welcome screen. Just tap begin, then greet the warning then depending on your device, the app will ask to enable certain settings so the installation can go ahead. In my case, I had to go into developer tools and enable USB debugging, although everyone should have to do this. Then I had to enable the USB camera connection. When that's done, it'll ask you to continue on your computer. So at this stage, plug in your USB cable and we'll head back to the installer. As you can see, you'll probably have to allow USB debugging again for Cyanogen to access your device just hit OK and let it go to work. Depending on your internet connection, it could take a while to download all the files, but when it's done, it'll ask to confirm when you're ready. Click Install, then follow the on-screen instructions to unlock your device's bootloader. Let the installation go through, then just wait for your device to finish up. Boot into Cyanogen and you're ready to go. So that is the easiest way to install CyanogenMod using the super simple installer, but as I said, if your phone isn't supported, or if you're just a power user, or if you're just feeling adventures or whatever, you can always use the manual install method. Link is below. Thanks for watching, make sure and subscribe right here for more. Follow me on Twitter, at DanMonsTech, my links are below, and my recent videos are right here. Check them out, and I'll see you guys next week. Loads of custom, useful uh, Android tweak. Oh, Let's go. Ah.